Vegans like to say that people like me are not vegans because their parents taught them not to be. Or in other words, people were indoctrinated into non-vegan ideology. The first obvious problem is that it would be logically fallacious to think that that's necessarily the case. Or that non-vegan beliefs are false on the basis of their origin. Some would even say that if we saw animals being slaughtered as kids, we would have been so repulsed by that, we would have been vegans by now. That suffers from the same problem, and even from additional problems, like that tells us nothing whether veganism is valid or not. It only tells us about the psychological state of a person based on a traumatic experience as kids. Plus, some people saw animals being slaughtered in their youth and still are not vegans. Even if we would assume that's true, it would be logically fallacious to argue that we should be vegans by virtue of feeling repulsed as kids. So that argument overall is irrelevant. The second problem is we're all indoctrinated into believing something from small things you are taught to do in your everyday life, like handshakes, saying thank you or please, all the way up to what you're taught in schools about the world and the nature of the world. So the indoctrination cannot be the problem itself. Otherwise, vegans would be shooting themselves in the foot because they would raise their children into vegan ideology, serving specific information to children and shaping their worldview. Why I don't eat animals because it's bad for my body. Um, and I just not good not to eat animals, but how come? And because animals are our friends. Heck, the whole vegan world would operate on indoctrination. Veganism would basically be woven through the very structure of society. It would shape norms, laws, beliefs, and behaviors. Either vegans are shooting themselves in the foot with this whole argument, or they should just abandon that fallacious, shallow argument.